my goodness, that's right beautiful. There. And if you could sign that for Absolutely. Samantha. Samantha? Yeah. Who's Samantha? Samantha's one of our viewers here. Oh my goodness, that is so wonderful. Hello there, Samantha. Am I safe for walking out on us? Oh, or am I losing touch? Hello, YouTube family. We're at Disneyland. Of course, we're at Disneyland. If you weren't at Disneyland, fill in the blank. How about a vlog about fun facts? Now these fun facts are things I have found online, these things are urban legends, these things have been told to me by friends. I can't guarantee all of them are real, but what I can tell you is, can you believe the top of Sleeping Beauty's castle, the pink part of Sleeping Beauty's castle, was actually put on backwards when it was built? I mean, can you imagine being Walt, like, coming into work that day and saying, something doesn't look right. You put the top of the castle on backwards. I mean, that, I'm pretty sure that's a true fact. I mean, I've heard a lot of people say that. It doesn't look awkward, but they decided to keep it the way it was. So, it's on backwards. It still looks beautiful to me. This is the back of the castle right here, which was supposed to be the front of the castle. I don't think it makes that much of a difference. The drawbridge here at Sleeping Beauty's castle does work. It does work. Last time it was raised was in 1983 when Fantasyland was remodeled, but it does work. I don't know if I'll see it in my lifetime. Maybe. Maybe they'll do another remodel. I don't know. Maybe they'll add a Beauty and the Beast section permanently in Fantasyland and they will remodel. This big mushroom right here, this was the original ticket booth for Alice in Wonderland when Disneyland actually had tickets per attraction. They don't do that anymore, thank God. That would be a disaster. This knife has a straight edge on it, so it's very easy. And maybe, in our world here, there lives a happy little mountain. This, I have never seen this before. This is a snow globe. I don't think I've ever seen this before. It's $70. These plush characters, this is a deal. $10 each for the small, medium, you get 12. These are great. I guess this is a medium or is this a small? I don't know. You can get an Olaf for either 10 or 12. I'm not sure if this is a small or a medium. Look at this. Dumbo up here. Look how cute that is. Eight dollars for an aerial emoji. A squishy emoji. I want this shirt and I want to wear it. I just don't know if I could pull it off. How many of you have this? Probably all of you. If you don't have Lumiere, you have Cogsworth. How about a plumet? Need a little dusting? Look what we found. They were all here. All the bells. All the bells and whistles. So many bells. I want them all. I want them all. This is it. This is the bell that is coming to one of you. Look how cute. The Matterhorn is actually one one hundredth scale of the real Matterhorn in Switzerland. There's actually another fun fact about this thing. On top of this attraction is a basketball court where cast members can go play some b-ball while... Do you guys still call it b-ball? Or is that just when I was in high school? B-ball, right? That's basketball. Oh, oh, ah! The snow beast, 
the snow monster, the scariest thing I have ever seen on any Disneyland attraction is called Harold. It is said that garbage cans can be found within 30 feet from one another throughout the park. That means if you see a garbage can, if you walk 30 feet, there'll be another garbage can, no matter where you are in the park. Let's see if that's true. I'm gonna just go, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pick a garbage can at random. The first one I see, which should be within 30 feet. Here's one right here. Here's one right here. Look at this. Garbage can. Garbage can. Garbage can. Garbage can. I went into the women's bathroom twice by accident. Too many games, now all our trips are lost. Oh, luck was not enough. I opened my eyes. Somehow I'll be strong. 